All right, so I want to have a competition right now before the video begins. Who is more useless, Ashley from Resident Evil 4 or Sherry from Resident Evil 2? Hell, me, for me anyways, at least Sherry will go down platforms by herself. Ashley refuses to even take the slightest jump down something. I think freaking Sherry is more useful than Ashley. I'm just saying. What's up guys, in today's Resident Evil 2 remake video, I want to talk about three amazing soundtracks that should stay and remain untouched when Resident Evil 2 remake comes out. Now these are probably the most iconic and most memorable uh, sounds from the Resident Evil 2 original soundtracks. So let's just get right into the first one. This first one is called the third malfunction of G. Here is a listen of it. I think one thing that separates Resident Evil 2 from other games in the 90s is the fact that, yo, this soundtrack is absolutely phenomenal. You know, the fact that they put opera music in here makes it more joyful than ever. It's one of my favorite soundtracks in the entire game, honestly. Now, this next one is instantly noticed by, I think, almost every single person who's ever played Resident Evil 2. Regardless if you're actually listening to it consciously or not, you know this tune. This is the save room song now. This is probably the top five, um, at least, of my favorite save room music in all of the Resident Evil games. If you don't remember it, take a listen now. The song in itself just bleeds innocence and security, which all uh, save room themes should do. And the fact that, you know, so many times I'm like dying, I'm in danger, I'm limping everywhere, and then I get into this room, I'm instantly reminded of a safe haven, and Jesus Christ, I used to suck in Resident Evil 2 back in the day, now that I actually say this. Maybe I shouldn't mention that part. And this final one is, of course, the Goodbye Leon song. Now, Leon breaking with his girlfriend literally just the previous day, like the hoe Leon actually is instantly got another girl and made out with her for a little bit in the game however this section Ada's supposed of death actually happens and this music I feel is just amazing and the scene that played out along with it was absolutely amazing take a listen to it Now, those are my top three tracks I feel should remain unchanged when Resident Evil 2 Remake finally comes around. What do you guys think about Resident Evil 2 Remake's OST? And what are your favorite tracks from Resident Evil 2? I'm gonna be out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Deuces!